This video will show you how to perform inverse Laplace transform by first shift. What is first shift for inverse Laplace transform? We call that if you take the Laplace transform of e power a t times f t, this is equal to capital F of S minus A, where capital F of S is the Laplace transform of FT. Therefore, the inverse Laplace transform of capital F of S minus A is equal to E power AT FT which is e power a t inverse Laplace transform of f of s. We will go through these three examples. The first one will be the inverse Laplace transform of 3 over s plus 1 square plus 4. For this example, I have s plus 1 square plus 4 in the denominator. So the first thing I'm going to do is to shift s plus 1 to s. So we have inverse Laplace transform of 3 over s square plus 4. After I shift s plus 1 to s, to apply the first shift, I must multiply by e power minus 1t. The minus 1 is coming from when you shift s plus 1 to s, you actually subtract by 1. And this is how I get the negative 1. Then I take out a 3 in the factor. 3 times e power minus t inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s square plus 2 square. And I look at the formula for sine a t. I notice that I need an a on the numerator. Therefore, I'm going to multiply the numerator by 2. And then divide by 2 again. So this is the balancing part. Then the answer will be 3 over 2 e power minus t and sine to t. So for this example, I show you to take the inverse Laplace transform of a over s square plus a square and I also show you that we use the first shift. The second example is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over 2s minus 3 raised to the power 4. First, 2s minus 3 raised to the power 4 can be written as 2 to the power 4 times s minus 3 over 2 power 4. This is because 2s minus 3 power 4 is 2 times s minus 3 over 2 floating power 4 and then we get 2 power 4 times s minus 3 over 2 power 4. Now 2 power 4 is 16 so we can take out 1 over 16 inverse Laplace transform of 1 over 
s minus 3 over 2 power 4. This is where we apply the first shift. First shift now, I'm going to shift s minus 3 over 2 to s. To do so, you actually add a 3 over 2. So after the shifting, we apply the first shift is 1 over 16, inverse Laplace transform of s minus 3 over 2 become s to the power 4 and you multiply by e power 3 over 2 t this is applying the first shift then you look at inverse Laplace transform of s power 1 over s power 4 from there, you know, this is n equal to 3, so you need a 3 factorial. So what you do is continue. From here, I say this is 1 over 16, e power 3 over 2t, L inverse of, so you need a 3 factorial over s power 4, and then divide by 1 over 3 factorial. And then from the table, We have inverse Laplace transform of 3 factorial over s power 4 is t power 3. That means this is 1 over 16 e power 3 over 2t times 1 over 6 times t power 3. They will give us 1 over 96 e power 3 over 2t times t power 3. The third example for first shift is 5 over s squared plus 6x plus 9. First of all, s squared plus 6x plus 9 we know is s plus 3 squared. Therefore, you can apply the first shift now, which says that I'm going to shift s plus 3 to s. So after I shift s plus 3 to s, this inverse Laplace transform of 5 over s squared. And you balance it by noting that s plus 3 to s is actually minus 3 from s plus 3. And this will give us e power minus 3t. And then you take out the factor 5. This is equal to 5 times e power minus 3t inverse the part transform of 1 over s squared. And inverse the part transform of 1 over s squared. Using Laplace transform of t power n, we know that this is t since n is equal to 1. So this will give us 5 times e power minus 3t times t. And this is the final answer for this part 3.